Explorers and husband and wife team, Derek and Beverly Joubert, join us with what to expect. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. you guys. We were just listening to that. It sounded like a pack of hyenas. <laughs> what are you guys up to out there? <laughs> <laughs> and that's a compliment. <laughs> we're, just being, we're just being a little bit crazy, that's all. Uh, you know, just a typical day here on Good Day South. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. a little crazy here. Oh, my gosh. But we are so thrilled to have you. Uh, I am telling you, I was so fascinated. I, I had the opportunity to watch the show last night, and I was so fascinated. Um, and, and I mean, you guys have been doing this, right? You've been explorers for, for so long. And, and I, you bring us in, and you see a whole group of uh, lions, right? And, and I mean, it, it's so amazing. Does it ever get old to you to see all of these animals, wild animals, together like that? Never. Never at all. Yeah. And, and I believe it's because each, each pride is, is um, really a, a little bit like our own family in oh. so many ways. And so it's understanding that family tree. And it's like you understanding your aunts and uncles and the grandparents and, and then, of course, the new little cubs. So no, it never gets And old. also, they, 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 they always surprise us. There's always something new going yeah. on. Every single day, there's something new to learn from the wild. Yes, it's the 50th anniversary of Earth Day coming up. And, and you just bring this up close and personal. Yeah. And the shots are so beautiful. I mean, how is this different and changed over the years? Well, you know, I think that our lives have changed over the years. Camera equipment have, has changed over the years. The wildlife situation has changed. But what we've done in this in this special, uh, and talking about that next generation, is we were able to work with some lions that we've known for many generations, and they've accepted us and allowed us to get closer. And we've been able to bring that, that trust and empathy between the lines and us to you as an audience, and I hope that it shines through. And then the, the, the change on, on what we're seeing in Africa is immense. Over a 50-year period, we are now losing the super predators, the big cats. Mm -hmm. And for instance, uh, 50 years ago, there were 450,000 lions, and now we're down to 20,000. Oh, so wow. that is the big change. And how are we going to try and protect the areas? Because slowly, humankind is encroaching in those last remaining uh, wilderness areas. Do you guys think that breeding these animals in captivity is a solution for that? Because that's an argument that some people will make, but I would imagine that doesn't seem appealing to you. <laughs> um, no, not appealing at all. Um, we spent our lives dedicated to um, protecting these animals and, and enhancing their natural habitat. And I think the solution is in that. Mm -hmm. So take care of the of their home ranges, take, make sure that they're protected from poaching and from hunting and all these other things, and they will breed back themselves. Um, once you've got lions or tigers or any of these big cats in captivity, you can't really introduce them back into the wild. Mm -hmm. So you'll have numbers of these animals, but they will forever be in captivity. Our focus is on the wild populations, and uh, that's really important, not just to, to individual cats that you're saving, but to the entire ecosystem that they feed into in lockstep. Without lions, we would have no grasses, for example, because the lions chase the, the herding animals, and the herding animals churn up the, the soil, the rain goes in, and the grasses grow. So you take one of those things out, the big cats in the wild, and you start losing everything. So concentrating in the wild is far more important. All right, uh, Derek and Beverly Jobert, so great to have you this morning. Thanks so much for your Thank time. Thank you for all that you do. For all that you do, yes. Born while the next generation airs this week in honor of Earth Day. Uh,